Hi everybody, it's Norma, and oh boy, do I have an empties video for you guys. Um, this is basically all the candles that I burned in the month of October, but I do have a few no November candles in here because I was late doing this video, so now we're you know halfway through November, so some of my like smaller jar candles I've already finished, so I'm just going to include them in this video so I can haul them out of here because um, I got stuff going on still. Um, so I'm going to try to go through this quickly because there is so much here. Um, and oh boy, I don't even know where to start. It's a little bit overwhelming, but I guess I'll start with what's up front. Um, I have to say my October burning was pretty scrumptious. I had good luck with the majority of the candles that I was burning plus I was also using my crock and if I couldn't smell a candle that was burning I usually could smell what was going on in the crock and I had my um, crock I have two of them going pretty much 24 7 except when I had to change out a candle usually when I change out a candle I turn it off and let the wax cool before I remove it because I am somewhat prone to waxidents um, and it's like just trying to minimize the risk of spilled wax everywhere. So I always turn off my crock before I switch out the candles. Um, and I let some candles go a little bit longer than usual because they smelled so good. It was like I could still smell like some scent in the actual jar and I'll, I have one of those right now. I, I, I can still smell it. It's like why did I pull this out? But it wasn't throwing anymore so I took them out. Okay, so first up, this is Apple. I think this must have been a hangover from September. This is a three-wick Yankee candle that I picked up at Burlington Coat Factory several years ago. I think in 2013 or 2014. And basically, it's a dupe for red apple wreath. Um, it did pretty well. Um, if you've never burnt one of these three wicks before, you do have to allow a decent amount of time for them to pull out because it is so wide, even though there's three wicks. But um, once you get past the first couple burns, they, they tend to do fairly well if you give them enough time. Um, I've had a few that were like complete disasters. that They were just a mess. But this one actually did pretty well. And I usually get pretty good throw from these three wicks. Um, so you can find the three wicks at the outlet, Bed Bath & Beyond carries them, and then of course your discount stores like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington Coat Factory. I also went through a lot of baby jars. Um, I purchased a lot of these last year because um, Yankee Candle came out with the medium sized fractal holders. and I just found this size works very well. You know, instead of you know, using tea lights all the time or having to put a glass votive insert in there. Um, I found that the baby jars work really well and also the daylights from Kringle Candle. Yes, you can put in a small tumbler, um, but I find that with the fractals, you don't get as much of the shine if you have a larger candle in there, which you're going to see because I do have that going on right now. Um, so when I do my What I Am Burning Now in November video, you're going to see that where you're not, I'm not maximizing the shine because of the candle that I have in there, but it was a candle I wanted to use, so there we go. So I had, um, missing a lid, I had, I thought I had another French vanilla going, but I had like four vanilla cupcakes, one French vanilla with a lid missing, and I had two apple pumpkins. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really expect to get much of a throw from these. You know, like I said, they're mostly accessory holder, you know, placeholders. Um, they're great if you want to, you know, try, try out the scent without committing to a large jar. If you have a smaller room, like a bathroom, they're great. Um, but I actually got a little bit of a throw from them. You know, of course, they were boosted up with, you know, some tea lights and um, stuff like that. But um, especially the French vanilla. French vanilla always does well for me. The tea lights. I had tea lights going a couple days ago in French vanilla on my coffee table. And they were out throwing, like, all the large jars around me. It's just nuts. 
So sometimes, you know, it's not about the size. Uh, some scents just seem to do well for me. Um, vanilla is such a hard scent to throw, so I had good luck with French vanilla. Um, I'm sad that it's seasonally retired. I can't get it in the store. I have to order it online if I want it. Um, I hope they don't retire it. Vanilla cupcake. I mean, it's it's a nice basic cupcake scent. Um, I do prefer French vanilla, though. Um, so that's it for the baby jars. Now this candle, I just finished this morning. This is a votive candle. And it did fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. This is Henri Bendel Suite 712. And it's a little votive. This little powerhouse could scent my entire bedroom and spill out into the hallway. Henri Bendel just had their $15 candle sale yesterday where the signature candles were $15 and their home candles were $25. So I did purchase some of the Three Wick Sweet 7112 because I just really, really like the scent. It's so hard to describe what this smells like. It's definitely a perfume. Um, and the middle notes are, are floral where you have the iris and uh, I think jasmine. I don't remember what all the the notes are but it's a floral and then you have like bergamot which kind of gives it that perfumey note that you smell you know cologne note that you smell in the men's cologne a lot and then you have your base with your cashmere musk I think it has sandalwood I, I don't recall all the notes off the top of my head which gives it a warmth and a depth and keeps the florals from becoming real girly it's really unique it's very sophisticated it's just really hard to describe all I can say is I love it um, so that's sweet 712. Okay, so now we're moving up a little bit in size. These are some tumblers that I picked up from Yankee a few years ago. I think they were on sale for like five bucks for some special. So we have Yankee Candle Apple Cider, Cranberry Chutney, and Cinnamon, no, Sparkling Cinnamon. So you may be able to see I have some three pedestals in the back. These were burning on those pedestals last month. And once again, basically place holders. Um, I was actually really disappointed. I didn't get much of a throw from them because I thought, you know, with the apple cider, 
the sparkling cinnamon at least cranberry chutney they would have been throwing pretty well um, but yeah I mean I they weren't scentless when I stuck my nose in them I could smell it um, I think the sparkling cinnamon was probably the strongest cranberry chutney apple cider not so much um, I couldn't smell that too much they burn okay they, I mean you know they're the smooth wax um, no wick issue on that one sometimes I have moving wicks with the smooth wax so I'm checking to see if that happened nope not on that one no nope, these didn't do it so I guess they burnt okay you know the one thing I don't like about the smooth wax is you know they do leave that residue on the jar which you don't get with the paraffin see how you know clear that is pretty much but yeah I mean in general, I don't buy a lot of small candles unless I'm going to be using them for a specific purpose, like on a pillar holder or in a smaller container. Um, I'm basically a large jar girl, if I can do it. <laughs> you guys know me, right? Okay. So, yeah, they were just, you know, okay. Okay, so let's move on to some large jars. I got Yankee Candle. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to burn these. These, when I, our older jars, so let's see, what do we got? This is a 2013, 14, and 14. When I pulled these out, I was so excited because they were just glistening and shining with oils. I mean, just like practically sparkling. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, they've been sitting for a few years. They're probably really, really, really good. So as you can see, the burn on these were pretty good. I didn't have to cut any wax out of these. You know, these didn't go in my crock at all. I just burnt them till they were done, basically. This one has a little bit more in it. Um, I couldn't smell them. I couldn't smell them. Um, Autumn Wreath, which I love the scent. I couldn't smell it, you know. Um, I haven't been buying votives and tea lights. I've just been using up what I have. Uh, I think if I had had some autumn wreath votives and tea lights to, you know, to boost it and maybe some milk cups in the same scent, um, I would have smelt it better. Um, I didn't buy any fall candles at all this year. Not a single one. So I think next fall I'm going to be kind of low. I used up like my very last apple pumpkin. I don't have any more. Um, I don't even know if I have any more autumn wreath. I may have one, but this may be it. Um, and I love the scent, so I'll try again next year. Um, yeah, look at the label. Maybe I should have kept one. Um, anyway, I was really, really, really disappointed. And I was also disappointed in Macintosh Spice. I couldn't smell it. I can smell them on cold. I mean, you guys, I just lift it. I can smell it. Why? Why? Why did I get no throw? I just don't understand. But, um, yeah. Disappointment. Okay, and then I had some vanilla candles as a, a filler. So I had vanilla cupcake and cookies and cream. Oh, my gosh. I love cookies and cream. It was, like, when this came out as a treasure... I think it was in 2014. A lot of the candles I went through were 2014. I mean, this just smells like cookies and cream ice cream. It's just so spot on to me. Um, and I usually get a fairly decent throw. I mean, it's not a room-filling throw, but when I'm in the, the vicinity, I can smell it. Um, vanilla cupcake, you know, it's it's done okay for me. It's, um, But they're both good vanilla scents. I rarely burn a vanilla candle just by itself unless I'm like actually going to be reviewing it and testing it. Um, I love vanilla scents, but they're usually more as a background to filler with something else that I have going on. 
but uh, yeah, I really love cookies and cream. I mean, both of them did fairly well. Um, you can see the wick on my cookies and cream did move a little bit because I, you know, burnt this down basically till the wick moved. It was just totally liquefied because I was really enjoying it. A little bit of residue. Um, not quite sure what caused that. It looks like I almost spilt it because it looks kind of like a, a wavy. I must have picked it up and moved it. Um, a little bit of tunneling on my vanilla cupcake. But uh, overall, I mean, both of them burned fairly well. I didn't have any real wick issues. I neither one of these I had to cut out wax, which you know, considering my burn time <laughs> has been really limited, I usually end up having to cut wax out of my Yankees because I can't get a full wax pool during the week. So during the weekend, you know, I let them burn as much as they can, and then if I have to, I cut up some wax. But these did fine. They actually burned really well for me. Um, so that was good. Okay. What else? These I had going um, in my bathroom. So this was in my main bathroom by my bedroom, sandalwood vanilla. And this was amber moon in my hall bathroom. Sandalwood vanilla is a beautiful scent. You know, I was expecting a very light throw. Um, I remember when I first saw this at the outlet a couple of years ago, I passed it up because it was like I could barely smell it on cold. But then um, it was either last year or early this year. I think it was early this year. I think, or, yeah, I think it was in the spring. I finally picked up a couple jars because I really love sandalwood vanilla type scents, and I so I really, really wanted to try it. And it's a nice scent. Um, I just wish it was stronger. It, it wasn't scentless. Like I said, I had it burning in my bathroom. Look at that label, though. Isn't that beautiful? The seashells and the orchid. Um, I had this burning in my bathroom, which is it's a small bathroom. It's not one of these huge bathrooms where you got like a jacuzzi tub and, you know, things like that going on. It's small. Um, so I should be able to smell it in there. Um, and I was able to if I had nothing else going. You know, if if I had other things going on in my house, my nose was just picking up other things, and I wasn't smelling this. But when I had only this going and nothing else, then I could smell it. And it was nice, but like I said, it's one of these light background scents, which is okay. I mean, there are certain scents you don't want to be strong. And when I'm burning in my bedroom, I usually don't want something that's going to be so strong it's going to choke me out because I want to be able to be in bed and relax and smell it, but not like be hit over the head with it. Um, so I wish it was stronger. I have one more of these. Would I get it again? Maybe. I mean, right now I'm kind of trying to, you know, go through a bunch of jars. So I'm not in any hurry to go out and buy anything if it comes back. Um, I would think about it, but I wouldn't like be, oh my God, I have to have it. Um, the Amber Moon did fairly nice. It is very similar to um, Yankee's Golden Sands, except it's a little bit more masculine, a bit more fallish, where Golden Sands, I think, is a little bit you know, sweeter and feminine. Um, also, again, if you like uh, Bath and Body Works, uh, Istanbul, what is it called? Sparkling Amber, you would probably like this. Um, it's in that vein of fa scent families. Once again, in my bathroom, I should have been able to smell it, no problem. Um, and it was just, it was there, but it was very light. Um, like I said, most of these candles from Yankee that I burnt were 2014. That was a bad year. I believe it started in 2013, which, of course, is the majority of my stash, 2013-2014. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I, I used to sell candles like back in the 90s. I sold Party Light and I was really, really into candles. And then I went through a major life change and I didn't burn candles for 10 years. And I started back in what year? 2013. So it was a bad year to come back because the candles just started to go downhill from there. But it is what it is, you know. Um, so two nice scents. I like the scents. I just wish they were a little bit stronger.
Okay, so we got a few more Yankees. Um, this is one that I actually just finished today, Napa Valley Sun. You guys know I love Napa Valley Sun. I've reviewed this one before. Um, I was pleasantly surprised with this one. I love the sun, and then I think it was last year, I burnt two candles in a row. Like one month I burnt one, the next month I burnt another one. And both of them, I just had a really, really hard time smelling. I mean, like, I couldn't smell them. And I got so disappointed. It's like, okay, that's it. You know, I stocked up on Napa Valley Sun when it was rumored to go away, which it's still around, people. Um, I think you can't get the votives and stuff anymore, but the jars you can, online at least. And it usually shows up in the treasure section if you go to the retail store. So I was like, you know what, I stocked up. I'm set. I'm not buying anymore because I guess I'm over it. Well, this jar did better. It was still a little bit light. I remember the, my very first jar of Napa Valley Sun, um, and I actually, I think it was the jar that I reviewed in 2013, I think it was, maybe, yeah. Um, it was in my bedroom, my bedroom bathroom. It traveled the corner into the bedroom and spilled out into the hallway. I mean, I was just like, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful and it throws. And I had several jars that did that. Now this one wasn't quite as as strong, but it did well. I could definitely smell it. And then when it was rumored to go away, I like bought a ton of votives. So I still have a lot of votives. And the votives, I swear, sometimes throw better than the large jars. So between having the jar and a couple of votives going I could definitely detect it. I could smell it. It's just a beautiful amber, vanilla type of scent. Um, I like it. It's very, very popular. A lot of people like it, so I'm not the only one. So performance-wise, it did really well. Um, it usually pulled out with, I probably need like three, three and a half hours, which is pretty good for a Yankee. Um, actually, most of the Yankees I, I burnt in October pulled out in a decent amount of time which was just really surprising but you know throw issues on some of them um, love the label love the candle love the scent apple pumpkin this is these are my last apple pumpkins I don't think I have any more unless I have one stashed away somewhere that I can't access which could be but I don't think I have any more um, cause I didn't buy it last year because I was so disappointed the year before I had burnt some pillars that were scentless. And I mean scentless. You stick your nose into the burning jar. You can smell nothing on cold, wonderful apple pumpkin scent that we all know and love burning scentless, 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 scentless. And then I had a large jar I think I went through last year, which wasn't scentless. I could smell it if I stuck my nose in it, but there was no throw. So I didn't buy any. So that's like two years I didn't buy apple pumpkin. So that's why I'm down to my, my end. Um, and these are two wick tumblers, which I'm not a, a fan of, the paraffin wax. As you can see, look what happened. Traveling wicks. Yeah, especially that one. It's a good thing I caught it because look how close it was to the glass. That could have been a disaster with the glass overheating and cracking, but I caught it. Um, I mean, they were burning pretty well until that, but um, you know, I wasn't really getting a throw. I mean, if you have two of these going in a room, and I don't have a big house, people. I have a thousand square foot condo. That's it. Just a small, little, tiny place that I burn a hundred thousand candles because I can't smell them. I should be able to smell this scent in my place with two of them going. Um, and I couldn't. I couldn't. I, now I have to say. During October, I was getting delicious odors. So, you know, maybe, you know, when I'm saying they're not throwing, maybe they were a little bit and they were just kind of all blended together. But I couldn't really pick out any one particular thing unless it was a candle that was in the crock. And then I could smell it. So, disappointed. Um, like I said, I'm pretty much out of fall candles. I have like a smattering of um, 
I do have like some Bath and Body Works candles, but as far as Yankee goes, I'm pretty much like almost out. Um, I think I might have some Kringle ones left. I'm not sure. Yeah, I have a couple, but not many. So next fall, I probably will be candle shopping. But uh, and then this is one that I picked up at Home Goods, and this is what is this called? I think this is like brown sugar and cinnamon. It was the dupe for brown sugar and cinnamon. I don't know what they call it here. Cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar. This is a lovely smell. I mean, it smells like cinnamon sugar. You know, if you you want to make your cinnamon toast and you mix up the cinnamon with the sugar, it smells just like that. It's very simple, straightforward scent. I love it. And it actually did really well. You know, I was surprised. Um, this was the only one I had. And um, if I see it again, you know, I would consider picking it up um, once I get my stash down. Because um, I, I do love this type of scent. And, in fact, it was doing well enough um, burning that I never got it into the crock. And I actually meant to crock this candle. I was only going to burn it a little bit just to see how it does. And then, because I really wanted to smell it, fill the air with cinnamon sugar, um, I meant to crock it, but it was doing fine, so I just kind of left it burn, and yeah, it was, I liked that one. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how long this video was, so I'm going to try to go on faster. Oh my goodness, it's over 40 minutes already, and we still got candles. This is Kringle Country Candle Vanilla Orchid. I burnt several of these already, so it's just a nice, basic, vanilla kind of sandalwood type scent. Um, I've talked about this one before, so we shall move on. I did burn two Kringo candles in apple pie. I think these were holdovers from September as well because I also, um, I burned the Kringo country candle version, warm apple pie, which I actually like better than this. Um, this, I don't really get the crust note where I get the crust note in the country candle version, warm apple pie. Um, and again, I've reviewed this before. You can check that out if you want to know a more in-depth review on it. Um, burnt fine, great. You know, like I said, it's okay, but I love the warm apple pie from country candle. And when I put that one in my crock, it was like, oh my goodness. It was like, where's the pie? Oh, this is another Yankee candle I forgot to mention. Someone had gifted me, it was like a do-it-yourself type of candle where you buy these little baby jars and the wax is powdered. And then you come, it comes with this jar and a wick. And then you pour whatever scents you want in here to make a layered candle. So the scents I had were black cherry, vanilla cupcake, and I think it was brown sugar cinnamon or the cinnamon sugar, like the candle I just had, something like that. Um, so I poured it together, made my candle. It did okay, burning, um, throw, eh, not quite there. So I threw it in the crock because I wanted to see how it did, and I couldn't really smell it. Um, I think it was supposed to be more like a cherry cobbler type of scent with the, the black cherry, the vanilla, and the sugar. And I thought it was going to be amazing in the crock, but, you know, I got... A little bit of scent throw for maybe half a day and then it just kind of went blah so yeah well it's done it's over move on okay I did burn two root candles you know because it was October and Halloween I decided to burn some black candles so this is the large three wick root character and I actually kind of like this scent it was definitely you know a masculine type scent um, patchouli, spice bay, citrus, and green mandarin, which I think those notes are pretty accurate. Like I said, a masculine kind of scent. But it was really disappointing because, first of all, with this size candle, and I think the, the price point was like 65 bucks, three wicks, large candle, it should throw me out of the house. And I had this in my bedroom and I could barely smell it. It's like one of those scents where uh, when I'm in the room, I couldn't really smell it that much. If I left the room and came back, then I could smell it, but I, as soon as I'm back in the room, I can't smell it. Um, this size candle shouldn't have that issue. Um, I had initially 
when these came out, I reviewed the blue one. I think it's called Ingenuity, which that one had a really, really good throw. So I was so excited, and I bought a few of these. Um, and so far, that was like the only one I've really had good luck with. Um, yeah, so I would not repurchase this. And the other thing that was disappointing about it is because of the opaque black jar. You know, I like to see my flames. I like the sparkle and the shine and the light. And you could see like a dim, dim glow through the black glass, but it was too dim for me. I like to be able to see my candle flame more, um, which was, of course, the issue with this one as well, the Root Vanilla Bourbon. Um, this one's basically a repackage of um, Madagascar Vanilla. Um, this one did okay. You know, it burnt okay. I didn't really have any major burn issues um, like I have had with the Queen Bee Jars. And this one did fabulous in the crock. Um, burning, eh, it was okay. Couldn't really smell it that great. I mean, it was there. It was background, but it did really well in the crock. Okay, and this is a candle that I burned for... Um, Breast Cancer Awareness, which is, you know, celebrated in the month of October. This is Pretty in Pink. This was a candle that came out by Colonial Candle, specifically for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, three Wick, a little bit of burnish shoe there. Um, but overall, it did pretty well. I had it in my bedroom, and it was just a nice medium throw. It was, like, just right. Um, it's, it was like a floral, like a candy-like floral kind of along the lines of uh, Kringle's watercolors, if you're familiar with that. Um, it was a nice, pleasant scent. You know, not exactly my favorite type of scent, but it was nice. It was pleasant, and it was a break for my nose from all the pumpkin and, you know, spicier candles going on. I also had two colonial candles. I had Simply Vanilla and White Pumpkin and Clove. As you can see, the burn on both of these was fabulous. No issues whatsoever. The wicks were perfect. They weren't too long. They didn't soot. They didn't have puny wick syndrome. They were perfect. Um, burn was perfect on both of these. The throw, I had both of these going in my computer room. Um, the white pumpkin clove smelled better to me on, on cold than burning. On burning, I don't know. It was just something, I don't think I like white pumpkin candles. Um, I've had a couple of them so far, and there's something like creamy sweetness that's maybe a little bit too sweet for me. I'm not sure what it is, but it, it, it reminded me a little bit of um, not heirloom pumpkin. Is it heirloom pumpkin? I have one here. I can't smell. Um, now there's a, there was another pumpkin candle by Bath and Body Works. I can't think of the name of it, but uh, that I didn't really care for. Um, but uh, yeah, it was okay. I just wasn't crazy about the pumpkin scent. Simply vanilla, beautiful vanilla scent. Just it's what it's called. It's simply vanilla. Just a nice basic vanilla, medium throw. Um, I wish it was a little bit stronger. If I'd had two of them going, it, I would have been able to smell it. I found that in my computer room, I do usually need two candles going to be able to smell anything um, the way I want to be able to smell them. Um, but I love Simply Vanilla. It's definitely a candle that you know I will be repurchasing. This one, I think a lot of people would like it. It just wasn't quite for me. And last but not least, we come to the Bath and Body Works candles. Now, I did crock all of these except this one, pumpkin carving, because it was so cute. So I had that out. Um, I was burning it the week of Halloween. And I had some wick movement there at the very end, so that was a little bit scary. But other than, other than that, it did fairly well. I mean, I could definitely smell it. I know this is a really popular one. But once again, I don't know, not my favorite pumpkin. There's just something about it. I'm not quite sure what, but it was okay. <sighs> Sad this one didn't come back. Pumpkin sugar donut did fabulous in the crock. You know, I did burn that one a little bit. I can still smell it a little bit. 
this one I can smell more. And for some reason, the wicks on this one didn't move. But, um, you know, because usually when you crack it, it goes. But uh, both of these were fabulous and yummy, 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 yumminess in the crock. I also had cinnamon sugar donut. This was like my one of my very first Bath and Body Work candles I bought. And, um, yeah, I can't even smell it anymore. Did great in the crock. Vanilla bean, and I'm not sure what pink stuff I threw in there. Um, I think maybe that pretty in pink because it looked like it had tunneled. So I must have thrown some of that in the empty jar. Couldn't really smell this one in the crock, though. Nope, I could not. Um, heirloom pumpkin. Did I talk about that one already? I think I did. Wait. Pumpkin carving. Oh, remember when I said the one candle, the um, white pumpkin and clove reminded me of something? For some reason, the pumpkin in there reminds me of pumpkin carving. But um, not the same scent, but just the pumpkin note. And then pumpkin cupcake. This one did okay in the crock. Yeah, I can't smell anything. Um, it did okay. It smelled pretty good, but the pumpkin sugar donut was hands down. <laughs> my favorite in the crock. It just was fabulous. So there you guys have it. Those are my empties for the month of October. And stay tuned for my What I Am Burning Now in November video. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below. And have a blessed evening.